Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments. Now, for today's episode, I hijacked it a little bit. Last week, I asked for a bunch of Battlefield 1 loadouts, and I got a few of them, but I came across the Martini Henry while playing. This is the level 10 recon unlock that you get the last rifle you get playing as the recon class and it is just so much fun to play with now i wouldn't go as far as to say it's the best recon rifle in the game in fact the bolt action rifles are incredibly situational this time around battlefield 4 it didn't really matter too much which bolt action you picked as long as you were good with it they're all kind of the same but this time around the sweet spot makes a huge difference in which rifles are good and that's why the martini henry is such an amazing rifle because it has one of the best sweet spots compared compared to any other rifle in the game. Now, what is a sweet spot? I'm gonna pull up a graph from simthick.com here so you can check out the damage stats on the Martini Henry. As you can see, it does 90 damage to start, but then that damage goes up to 100 damage and then it drops off after that. So that area where it's doing 100 damage is the sweet spot. That means you can shoot somebody in the body, you don't have to get a, uh, a headshot, and you can kill them with one shot. And for this weapon, that sweet spot starts at 30 meters away and ends at 80 meters away, which is a pretty big area, and uh, it's sort of a medium range engagement. Now, anybody closer than 30 meters to you is gonna take 90 or a little bit more than 90, depending on if they're at like 25 meters or something like that. So you have to hit them once with the martini and then either reload and hit them again or probably finish them off with a sidearm. And same goes for people further than that, although you might have a hard time hitting somebody with a sidearm that's uh, beyond 80 meters. Now, why would the Martini Henry be such a satisfying weapon, especially if all other bolt action rifles have their own sweet spots and can potentially one-shot kill people at their own specific ranges? Well, the Martini Henry sweet spot just happens to be at one of the most common engagement distances, especially for the recon class. All the other rifles start to push that one-shot kill range further and further away. For example, the SMLE sweet spot starts at 40 meters instead of 30 meters, and then the Russian 1895 starts at 50 meters, and the sweet spots get further and further away depending on which rifle you're using. So the Martini Henry arguably has one of the best sweet spots in the game. Now, of course, to balance that out, the Martini Henry has a lot of things that are fighting against this gun. First of all, there's no variations of this weapon. There's only one Martini Henry, and you can switch out the normal iron sights for radium iron sights. Apparently, these green glowing iron sights actually were a real thing in World War I. They were made with radioactive paint. This was well before we understood the negative effects of radiation on people. In fact, it was believed at the time that uh, some of these materials had medicinal qualities because we do use radioactive medications to fight things like cancer. So uh, it was kind of crazy to think that soldiers were holding up radioactive iron sights to their eyes. But for video games sake, the radium iron sights I think are considerably better than the standard iron sights. Now you also have the option to put different magnification levels and I put my magnification for the iron sights at two times just because I feel it gives me a little bit more precision at that 30 to 80 meter engagement range and uh, you can set it to whatever you want you could have it the least amount of magnification as possible whatever is more comfortable for you with an iron sight weapon and then of course the other thing fighting against the martini henry is the fact that you have to reload after every single shot you take so basically it's got the slowest rate of fire out of any bolt action in the game plus it has a painfully slow muzzle velocity of 440 meters per second meaning it's going to be very difficult to hit moving targets you have to lead an insane amount on somebody running in the distance and doing that with iron sights is even more difficult so this weapon basically has the worst stats when it comes to everything in the game other than damage and its sweet spot area. However, the sweet spot is just so damn good that it still makes this weapon really fun to run with. It's got a lot of things fighting you, but just running with a single shot rifle with this kind of killing potential and it makes this amazing sound every time you fire it, is just this really fun and rewarding experience. And the sweet spot mechanic, especially on this rifle, really forces you to kind of play your role. If you run in close quarters with this weapon, you're putting yourself at a huge, 
disadvantage. You're not going to be able to one-shot anybody because you're going to be doing 90 damage to the body. Uh, and you're going to have to take a long time to reload. So running into multiple opponents is just going to be a nightmare. So you want to stay 30 to 80 meters away from your target whenever possible. And you'll see here from this gameplay uh, that these dunes that I'm hiding behind are actually the perfect distance to the city. And I'm able to just nail tons and tons of people at that sweet spot range. And uh, it's absolutely perfect for this rifle. So in the right situation, as I mentioned before, all the rifles are very situational. In the right situation, the Martini Henry can without question be one of the best rifles in the game. But at the same time, it lacks the versatility of the other rifles out there. Without the ability to mount any sort of magnified optic on this weapon, you really don't possess the ability to be that effective at extreme ranges. You can always one-shot headshot people at any range with this weapon, but doing that at like 400 meters with iron sights is not going to be easy. You'd have a much better chance of doing that with like a Gewehr 98 with a sniper scope or any other bolt action rifle with a sniper scope. So I would say that the other bolt actions are a little bit more versatile than this weapon, but at that 30 to 80 meter distance, this rifle is king. Nothing can stand up to this weapon at that distance, and it's a pretty common distance for a lot of engagements, which is why it is so much fun to use. As soon as you get out of that distance though you are at a disadvantage up against just about any class or any weapon you run into. Now I finally managed to hop into some operations with Matimio and Axe Factor. Not enough people were queuing up for operations at the beginning of the early access so very few people were able to play it but I have to say now that I've been able to queue up and the new maps are out it is a ton of fun. Oh my god operations is probably my new favorite game mode. I think I like it even better than Conquest uh, but it does have that sort of extremely long element to it where you have to play multiple maps to finish out your operation game and I don't know if I'm crazy about that because uh, one of the appeals of any PC game or any first-person shooter is the ability to sort of hop on play around and hop off operations doesn't allow you to do that but it has some of the best gameplay in it some of the most cinematic some of the most well-crafted gameplay if you want to see more of that operations content uh, I'll be coming out with a cool double vision slash squad up style video tomorrow with uh, Matimio and X Factor and we'll be playing through a couple of operations. Now the staggered launch of Battlefield 1 has been pretty interesting, highly unpredictable. I did uh, a live stream event at EA and they hooked me up with a press key for the game which allowed me to play over the 10 hour uh, limit that the early access people were able to so that's why my level is higher and then also just yesterday randomly they released all the new maps. So basically all the maps are in the game and it's just beautiful. Here we're playing on Empire Edge, and this is definitely one of the most attractive maps. I certainly wouldn't say it's my favorite map, but just these old ruins fighting among the hills with the, these rocky and grassy hills with cypress trees. I mean, it's just beautiful. And then you've got the coastline off to the side. Uh, if you told me this is what Battlefield was going to look like five years ago, I would have been like, you shut your mouth. Like, there's no way uh, DICE can make a game that looks this good. But they've done it. I mean, it is without question the best looking first person shooter I have ever played. Multiplayer first person shooter, but probably just in general first person shooter. Now, I know many of you guys haven't even played the game yet and you're probably pretty jelly that I'm already like ranking up and stuff. I apologize. I don't mean to brag about uh, getting like early access to the game or unlimited playtime with the game. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it for sure and I'm happy to share this information with you and what I've learned about it so far and I hope it helps you guys decide what unlock paths and what you want to focus on when you first get into the game. If you're deciding on what classes you might want to focus on, recon and going for the rank 10 rifle is certainly worth it. Now, once you hit rank 3 and 4, there's pretty much nothing else to unlock until you hit rank 10 when it comes to the weapons on the recon class. So it's a bit of a long haul there, but if you like playing recon uh, and you're good at sniping, it really is one of the new best classes in Battlefield. Also, because comparatively, sidearms are significantly better than they used to be, it's a really fun class to play with because you can actually do some serious work with your sidearm. And I've got my Hellfighter M1911. That's just the cool custom pre-order camo for the 1911 that makes it look a bit gold. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this hijacked episode of Loadout. Please leave your comments down below for next week's episode. Make sure they're Battlefield 1 relevant, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. Ow!